don't know what lipstick I want to test today. I'm calling this makeup look aggressively summer natural. It's like tinted moisturizer, lots of bronzer, fake freckles, some blush, not a lot of like um, mascara. I feel like the lip needs to be something like either a gloss or something a little bit like smushed into the lips like a lip stain. It's already afternoon. I had a, not a slow start this morning, but we like cleaned the apartment, whatever. I took a bath, hair is still drying. And, and we also have people coming over for burgers later. So it needs to be something intentionally shorter wearing so that A, I don't have to film when people are here because that's just a little bit awkward. And also that goes with this like summer look. My um, storage bag of choice is a big old canvas bag that has the lipsticks and lip products that I have not photographed or filmed yet. It is not, you know, the most um, organized way to keep my lip products separated, but here we are. Maybe I'll do one of these. One second. So Soap and Glory very kindly sent me some of their lip products, so you'll see those, you know, as we get to them. So today we are taking a look at the Peach Pout lipstick, and they sent me this in three shades, and the lightest is Peach for the Sky, then Peach Ball, then Freedom of Peach. I think I'm going to go to Freedom of Peach, um, and the reason why I chose these are it's a balmy lipstick and they have very like kind of light peachy colors So hopefully that will go with today's vibes now for the application unintentional But it kind of matches my nails So as always we will start with the application and I will read to you what soap and glory has to say about this lipstick And actually I thought they just sent me three shades of the line, but there are only three shades they say Peach Pout, a completely balmy lipstick. Lipstick that thinks it's a balm? It must be a creamy, dreamy peach pout. Available in three sassy peach perfect shades. A lightweight, long-lasting formula lasts all day. Features a rich, juicy peach-infused fragrance. With a shaped bullet edge for easy and precise application, it goes on just like a lipstick, leaving you with instantly softer feeling, luscious lips. So, we are going to see if it is long wearing. In my experience, creamy lipsticks tend not to be long wearing, so we shall see. With a shaped bullet edge for easy and precise application. The shade that I applied I accidentally jabbed with the cap, so it did mess up the top edge of the bullet, but we'll take a look at one of the other shades and make sure that it actually has a precise tip. And we are going to see if it has instantly softer feeling luscious lips. I wouldn't say that my lips feel instantly softer, but they do feel moisturized because I have creamy product on. So. Not surprising. The scent is really nice. It's very like Soap and Glory, how it's like young and fun and very bright and very flavorful, but it's not the most sophisticated scent of all time. The application was easy, you know, it's a cream lipstick. It has a fairly narrow bullet, which I find easier for my smaller sized lips, but I did find that with just one coat, it was a little bit patchy, especially when I did like, you know, two lip smoosh. So to make up for that, I did have to do a little bit of like stippling and fussing with it to make sure that it was nice and even looking. And I feel like for a creamy lipstick, it should be pretty easy to not have a patchy look, you know what I mean? So I did find that just a smidge odd, but I really do like this color. I think it's really nice, very flattering. All three of the shades are very easy to wear, so it's not like it's some groundbreaking peachy pink shades here. But that is all I have for you right this second, and I will check back in in a little bit. It's uh, not transfer proof, but who's surprised? transferring on to my can actually the lipstick still looks really good so it is kind of you know meshing back together after transferring which is a good thing okay so it is 2 10 now I don't actually think that I said what time it was when we started it started around 12 30 right ish you can see there's still like a decent amount of color on my lips but like it doesn't feel like much so it's clearly staining like it doesn't really transfer anything i just ate lunch and it the feeling of the lipstick like on my lips while i was eating like i could tell that it was going but like i said you can clearly see that there's still a stain there so i guess we'll see how long the stain's gonna last all right so it is exactly four o'clock there is not a speck of this lipstick left 
There's like a tiny hair of the pigment left where my lips are a little bit dry, but that doesn't really count. I'm going to clock this guy in at three and a half hours of wear. Not incredible, but it's not something that you can eat without reapplying. But that is it for this wear test video. The entire write-up will be on the blog later today, lipstickaday.com, and I will see you next time. Bye.